good morning, everyone. My name is uh, Loris De Giovanni. I'm CTO and founder at uh, Sysdig. Sysdig is a leading provider in container, Kubernetes, and cloud uh, security. And uh, of course, we're hiring. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, detecting threats in uh, cloud environments, and in particular, in cloud infrastructures. And I want to start by just you know, recapping you know, what you can do in, with the majority of cloud providers. Typically, cloud providers offer standardized, opinionated facilities for collection of logs from different services that are ideal uh, for uh, collecting information that can be used to detect threats in uh, uh, cloud infrastructures. For example, in Amazon, we have CloudTrail. Every cloud provider has similar services. And CloudTrail is very nice because it automatically collects in a standard format logs from multiple services and puts them in uh, uh, cheap storage, for example, uh, S3 on AWS. Now, what we do after that is a little bit more complicated because this log needs to be essentially collected, parsed, and treated in some way. And very often, the way people hunt for threats in these logs is uh, they take them, they move them to a logging backend, which requires both bandwidth cost and storage cost. And then they essentially create alerts or rules or something like that based on that. Um, I argue, or I propose, uh, a better way to do this, uh, and a way that is based completely on open source and it's based on uh, Falco, which is a Cloud Native Foundation uh, uh, incubating project. And the best way to, that I have to describe Falco is, uh, Falco is uh, the security camera for modern apps. Falco is deployed by many, many thousands of uh, users around the world from you know, uh, small, uh, single, single machine deployments to giant scale deployments in some of the, of the biggest uh, uh, companies in the world. And Falco is based on uh, some core principles. Uh, the idea of collecting granular data, uh, traditionally coming from containers and from system calls using, for example, eBPF as a source of collection. The idea of enriching this data with context, for example, Kubernetes metadata uh, context. The, the idea of having uh, robust defaults and something that works very well out of the box to detect threats and do runtime security, but also have a nice language for extensibility. And Falco is optimized for real-time and runtime security. Uh, it, it's simple and uh, is designed to work at the edge and move as little data as possible. Falco traditionally works for containers and uh, uh, virtual machines and sits on every single endpoint and is able to capture the data from multiple containers by sitting in the kernel of the, of the operating system. And these, these are some examples of detections of rules that you have with Falco, you know? A shell is running in a container. Uh, somebody's modifying a system binary. Somebody's trying to escape a container, and so on and so forth. So very granular, real-time detection. That's why I call it a security camera. What we've done recently as Falco community is uh, we've extended Falco. This diagram shows essentially, you know, the flow of information from Falco, and typically, uh, historically, Falco is capturing system calls using either a kernel module or, or an eBPF probe. We've extended it through a plugin system so that it's essentially possible now to collect it to arbitrary sources. And we've created, for example, a plugin for uh, CloudTrail. And uh, now, thanks to this plugin, you can very easily take Falco, connect it uh, automatically to your source of logs in CloudTrail and without having to copy the data, without having to put them in a SIM tool or in a login tool and so on, Falco in real time can just see a stream of events that CloudTrail is producing. And uh, this is an example, for example, of a, of a rule. Uh, I'm not trying to teach you the Falco syntax. It's not R, but this is not, not the scope here. But as you can see, this is a rule that detects a console login without multi-factor authentication. And as you can see, you know, uh, the condition is typically like the, 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 the rule, the, the, the actual filter that Falco looks uh, in, in the events. And as you can see, it's pretty readable and allows you to express uh, essentially Falco rules using CloudTrail events. 
Of course, you can write your own CloudTrail events. You don't have to, because Falco comes equipped with a nice set of default rules that uh, allow you to detect uh, a bunch of stuff, uh, including configuration changes, uh, unusual behavior from, from users, data exfiltration, for example, from S3 buckets, somebody maybe uh, making an S3 bucket public, or somebody accessing sensitive data on the bucket. All of this kind of stuff is already part of the default rules that you get uh, when you deploy Falco for uh, CloudTrail security. Uh, to summarize, uh, we uh, have something that uh, uh, compared to maybe the traditional way of doing things, first of all, leverages a tool that is uh, a CNCF tool that is free as uh, free beer and free as, as free speech, uh, is real time uh, and responsive. So it doesn't need to index the data. It doesn't need to uh, treat the data before it generates the alerts, but is able to, in few seconds, essentially, to notify you when there's something wrong going in your cloud infrastructure. And this is a, a very good complement to, like, I don't know, cloud security posture management tools that maybe look at APIs and, and do this kind of stuff, because uh, the use of uh, real-time security and runtime security with Falco is uh, very uh, instantaneous and, uh, and immediate. Uh, provides full coverage, and uh, it's very interesting because now with Falco you have uh, protection both for uh, the uh, workloads, for the containers, uh, and with the same tool, with the same syntax, with the same deployment, you also have coverage for the cloud infrastructure where very often your Kubernetes, your containers, uh, your virtual machines run. Uh, Falco is efficient, therefore it's very cheap. Uh, don't, doesn't store data, requires very little CPU because it's, uh, it's very optimized for like eBPF system call treatment. Uh, it's scalable, uh, so it's designed to work at scale in big infrastructures. And of course, you know, uh, it allows uh, to avoid uh, expensive copies and, and data movements, so it's also uh, very affordable. I could keep talking about that, but uh, I think i just concluding by giving you some pointers. Uh, the first one is the Falco website. The second one is the community where uh, myself and all of the other Falco contributors and maintainers get together. We have a Slack channel, we have a weekly Zoom call, uh, and uh, we're always welcome to see both new contributors but also new users uh, that uh, give us feedback. So these are the links. Uh, thank you for listening, and uh, uh, happy security. <laughs>